back to the channel. Glad to have you here. In today's video, we're going to share with you four Amazon KDP keywords that are low competition, high demand. Now, if you are interested in Amazon KDP keywords and the research already done for you, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we do daily videos talking about Amazon KDP low competition, high demand keywords, as well as talking about ways to make passive income online and income reveals and strategies and tips that you will find helpful. So click on the subscribe button, click on the bell icon in order to be notified on all our new videos. And let's get started with the first keyword word for the day. Now we are using for Chrome extensions that I've talked about. You will find the link in the description box below. The first keyword for the day is prayer journal and daily devotional for women 2023. And I'm using self-publishing Titans as one of the main Chrome extensions that I am relying on for the majority of the analytics that determine whether the keyword is profitable or not. And I'm also using Amazon Scout Pro free Chrome extension, which you can find the keyword niche score right at the bottom right here. And we do have the green light given by Amazon Scout Pro Chrome extension, which categorizes this keyword as a great niche and it gives it a high number of nine. And we also have self-publishing Titans, which gives this keyword a keyword niche score of 46 and a total results of 1,316. Average bestseller is amazing. It is under the ideal average bestseller rank of 300,000 and it is sitting at 67. 1758 and the average price is perfect for the Amazon independently published books which sits at $8.11. So prayer journal and de daily devotional for women 2023. Now as we are heading mid uh, 2023 you can emit 2023 or you can insert it but it is not advisable to use 2023 uh, in your uh, title or in your subtitle because you want to make sure that the book or the journal that you're creating is relevant throughout all the years not just for 2023 so do not enter 2023 in your title or in your subtitle. You can enter it in your uh, seven keyword slots. And then after 2023 has ended, then you can go ahead and remove that from your seven keyword slots and update it with the most relevant year. So let's have a look at this niche briefly. Now, this is a very profitable niche. The majority of these books are selling really, really well. We've got a bestseller right here that is not using this keyword as part of the title or the subtitle. They are, however, using it as part of the seven keyword slots. And that is why it is ranking under this keyword. Now, you need to bear in mind that you need to make this cover for women. So use whatever elements that attract uh, women that are into devotional, spiritual, uh, religious, um, uh, activities as well, mostly florals if you want to include any sort of gold foil, that would be a gr great idea as well. So the cover really does sell. Now here we have a couple of books and as you can see, the cover is very engaging, it's very eye-catching, it's very floral and feminine as well. This one here is also a uh, selling quite well and it, it is sitting at a best seller rank of 4,659 4, which is super super low so have a look also at the categories that the book is selling under i'm going to go ahead and open this one for example and just have a look at the categories have a look at the uh, interiors and also when it comes to the quantity of the interior of the book this one for example has a 52 week scripture guided print our notebook for women of God offering you a 52 week uh, interior week by week so you, you kind of like the customer is getting a perceived value here where they're getting um, you know a, a lot in terms of quantity and quality as well but quantity really does play a role when it comes to journals like these 
Now I'm just going to go ahead and open up the cover or open up the book so we can have a look at the categories that this book is ranking for. We can have a look at how many pages and we can get an overview, not to copy, but in terms of getting inspiration uh, for creating our own book. Now, then again, they have not mentioned the keyword. They have mentioned it in the seven keyword slots, which we will not be able to access, unfortunately. So the cover is very engaging. It has been created in September 2020 and it is a total of 122 pages and uh, apart from that it, they also have a wonderful A plus content highly advise you to go create A plus content for all your major books because they do really play a big role in whether or not the book sells and it's a beautiful overview of the book you can go ahead and create it in Canva currently they are ranking under Christian process theology as well as one other category that is relevant now one thing that I did uh, notice in terms of the beginning of my journey with Amazon KDP in terms of the categories is that usually the Amazon KDP ranks your books under the wrong category so you do need to double check. The next keyword is daily prayer journal for black girls and it has a keyword news score of 42 and a total results of 345. Now I would personally ignore the bestseller rank that is quite high sitting at 954,087 because all the other indications indicate that this is a great niche to dive in. Also there is potential to sub niche under this we can create according to the um, career for example for students for girl for uh, for students for moms for uh women for uh, nurses as well so based on career we can sub niche based on age as well we'll be able to sub niche although one thing that i did notice under this keyword the daily prayer journal for black girls is that the majority of the books ranking under this keyword are more towards ideally targeted towards black girls in their pre-teen and teenage years so do keep that in mind one thing that also uh, sells well that i found uh, out is that books with cover of a a beautiful black girl illustration also appeal to the target audience under this niche now if you head over to creative fabrica which you can find a link at the bottom of this video in the description box you will find the majority um, once you uh, search for black girls and search under graphics or illustrations you would find wonderful glitter based maybe silver or gold foil illustrations of beautiful uh, young girls that you have access to um, I have access to commercial rights as well so you can go ahead and download these illustrations and then uh put them in through BookBolt or uh, Canva, for example. The next keyword is I am positive affirmations, coloring book for young girls. Now I'm going to personally ignore the keyword niche score of 27 given by Sub Publishing Titans. Why? Because all the other indications and analytics given uh, right here uh, indicate that this is a profitable keyword. Also, Amazon Scout Pro has given us a number six categorizing this niche as a nice niche. So when you do, for example, search for your own keywords and you do find conflicting information such as a low keyword niche score given by Sub Publishing Titans and a high niche score given by Amazon Scout Pro or the opposite is correct. Uh, then my advice to you is to head over to the analytics, the second section of Sub Publishing Titans Chrome extension, where it shows you the total results and the average bestseller rank and as well as the other data. See if they fall under the um, this, the category of a profitable niche. For example, is the total results 1,000 or less? Is the average bestseller ideally um, 400,000 or less? Then, or around that 400,000 mark. The, of course, the bestseller rank, rank the lower, the better. You would ideally want a bestseller rank to be between 400,000 to 300,000, the maximum. Um, so this is also connected to the black girls niche, young black girls. Ideally, then again, do follow the same in, uh, guidelines. For example, what are black girls that are in their preteen to their um, teenage years? What are they mostly interested in when it comes to the cover? Uh, what are the covers that are selling best as well? Have a look at the interiors. Really dive in because this is a major niche that has a low competition and a high demand as well. And when you are researching, you will find a lot of sub niches that are uh, profitable as well that I've also discussed here on the channel. So then again, create engaging cover 
reference, choose the right categories, and your book will be ranking in as well. So I'm really interested in the total results of 163, and you do not need to sub niche under this keyword because the keyword is very long tail. It's beautiful. It's long tail. It is basically creating a coloring book that contains positive affirmations. They all start with I am, and it is targeted towards young black girls in that target group. So let's have a look at the next keyword, which is daily prayer journal for black girls. And it has a keyword niche score of 39. Then again, really low total results of 345. Average bestseller rank is 973,647. Although it is quite high, the bestseller rank, but the other indicators indicate that this is a great niche to dive into. I wouldn't totally invest all my time and energy into this keyword because of the bestseller rank, yet I'll cre I'd personally create a book or two under this keyword and also a, a two or three books under each of the keywords discussed to, in today's video. And then this will accumulate. I would advertise them on Pinterest, either using free promotional apps or uh, free promotional methods by pinning, by creating individual pins in uh, Canva, for example, and then uploading them to Pinterest. I would also promote them on Instagram. Instagram also sells really well if you create a brand a page and like create screenshots of the interior, some of the interior pages as well. They do rank really well and they do sell quite well. And this is from my own personal experience as well with that. So in under this keyword, you are creating a daily prayer journal. So it needs to be a day by day. Of course, do consider the quantity. The more you are able to offer, the more you're able to over develop, ever deliver and ever provide value, the better it is. I would personally uh, include uh, prayer uh, scriptures like verses lines in between the pages or for each day to help the customer reflect on a daily uh, scripture, for example. Uh, so the, all these uh, four keywords that we did discuss in today's video, they are all interconnected. You can go ahead and have a specific strategy where you would create uh, two or three uh, books that are medium content under this and remember to over de de deliver and the cover really does sell well as well. So I would personally create a cover using Canva. If you do have access to BookBolt, then BookBolt also offers you a really easy and effective um, a strategy for creating book covers and I would utilize their gold foiled uh, designs as well because it's really easy to create gold foil designs uh, in book bolt much more easier than it is for canva so we did discuss the four amazon kdp low competition uh, high demand keywords for today. We do daily videos such as these. So if you are interested, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you on board. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.